Hello world, welcome back to another episode from Beyond the Matrix. My name is Sarah, and today we're talking about Mercury, because it's Mercury's day. Also, just want to point out that Venus and Neptune have joined at the same degree, so Venus is moving into that conjunction with Neptune, which will perfect today. It's a beautiful conjunction in Venus's exaltation and Neptune's home sign of Pisces. So yeah, could be really magical, imaginative. Also, the Sun and Saturn are moving into their conjunction as well. It's a little bit more of a constricting feeling, but perhaps also liberating because it's in the sign of Aquarius which is about revolution, rebellion, and not conforming. So Mercury is co-present with Sun and Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, meaning it's in the same sign, and is moving into a sextile with Jupiter in Aries. And so there's an opportunity in sextiles. Jupiter in Aries is... A philosophical warrior and Mercury in Aquarius well Mercury is the sign that's about our communication and in the sign of Aquarius it might be innovative it might be coming up with inventions inventive he's also the messenger god so there could be some sort of insight coming in so it looks like sometime between Friday and Saturday, that aspect will perfect. So we'll probably be feeling it for the good portion of this week into next week. And also the moon is going to move into the sign of Aquarius to be co-present with Mercury. So the moon in Aquarius, again, is detached, not so emotional, more objective, and moving into a conjunction with Mercury, the messenger god, and still in sextile with Jupiter in Aries. So we might feel the desire to try out new things this week, mix up the routine a little. Mercury is going to be in sextile with Chiron after that. Chiron, the wounded healer in the sign of Aries, about our individuality, our wound around our individuality. It could be shame uh, around expressing ourselves or being an individual. Robert Hand, in his book Horoscope Symbols, says that Mercury combined with Aries, so Jupiter and Chiron are in Aries, is wanting to be known in the world for intellect or because of involvement in communications or transportation, to be involved in communications, media, or in the creation of public opinion, to write, especially for a publication. So there could be a wound surrounding that desire to be known for being intellectual. And for Mercury Jupiter, he says, the ability to make judgments based on maximum understanding, love of negotiations and business, judgment conditioned by ideals of fairness and justice, although sometimes lacking in precision and accuracy of thought. Because Jupiter is this planet that's kind of, you know, about expanding and, and going beyond. And so there's not as much focus on details where Mercury is the taskmaster. So it's, it's very focused on details. 
And also while this is happening, <laughs> funny enough, um, Mars, of course, in the sign of Gemini, Mercury rules Gemini. So Mars is us taking action and Mercury is moving into a trine with Mars. And so that's going to be things falling into place naturally. We're going to start taking action on this desire to be perhaps seen as um, intelligent. And the square to Uranus here in the sign of Taurus, so Uranus in Taurus, Uranus is this planet of shocking revelations. And in the sign of Taurus, the Earth sign of Taurus, maybe whatever it is that we're doing doesn't seem practical. Or, uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to put it is this new idea that we have that we're going to take action on to be seen, to be known as someone that's intellectual is at odds with practicality. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and this just after Neptune and Venus can join in the mystical sign of Pisces. So we're susceptible to illusions here. This will be right after the Pisces new moon too. So we'll be beginning something new, taking action, setting intentions. And yeah, there, there's just this possibility that they're not very practical. By the time we reach Wednesday of next week, that's when all of this action is going to be happening between Mercury and Uranus and Mars, you'll, you'll see that Mercury is going to be moving from 15 to 16 degrees, probably from Tuesday to Wednesday. And it's going to be an aspect, again, square to Uranus and Taurus, and then trying to Mars and Gemini. Hey, we, we are susceptible to falling for illusions here. We're also um, working towards whatever goal it is that seems impractical. There might be some you know, some need to revise the plan, but there will be a lot of energetic thinking and decision making and we'll feel very energized. So at least it's going to feel like we're moving forward and it could come to a time when we have to change course. But for now, it's in the energy, you could say, that we're going to try some shocking new things. So whatever that means for you, feel free to dream big this week and implement some crazy ideas. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll be back very soon. I'll see you then. Yeah.